Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, we will be implementing anonymous sign-in. So anonymous sign-in generally uh, allows the user to use your application upfront without providing any details. Uh, in this case, generally just a user ID will be generated for that particular user. And then when the user adds their details further, then those details can be stored. So uh, once the user logs in anonymously, then we will just receive a UID in the user credential object. So let's see how we can implement that. So right now I'm in the application and let's create a method here. Um, I'll name this sign in anonymously. And in this case, this will call the af auth dot auth sign in anonymously method okay now this is all that you need to do now again uh, as you can see this returns a promise which is of type user credential so again we can do something along the lines of this so i can simply copy this code from here and paste it here like so Let's also quickly bind this method to the click of the button that we have for login anonymously. So like this. And let's save that and go back to the application to see um, what do we get. So let me just clear this all up. I'll click on login anonymously. And this returns to me an object wherein the user details would all be null. So I don't really be having a display name and email uh, verified email would be false. And apart from that, I'll also be having the phone number and photo URLs as null. I'll just be having a unique user ID that can be added uh, the details to. So this is all that we have regarding uh, logging the user anonymously. But now let's have a look at uh, displaying the login uh, or displaying the user details section once the user logs in. So for this, I'm going to use um, bootstraps card component. So let's have a look at the template for that. Uh, this is the template that we will be using for the card component. So right now I'm in this section right here. And this is the row that um, that we see once the user logs in. So we'll create another div here. And there would be an ng if and this ng if checks whether the user is logged in or not. So if the user is logged in, then we need to show them this um, card with the details of the user. So in this ng if I will be using the auth state of the user. So since I want to use the af auth uh, instance inside the template, I'll have to make it public and then I can use it like so. So af auth dot auth state. And since this is going to be an observable, I'll have to pass it by an async operator to uh, open this up. And I'll make it as a user. So if this is defined, then in that case, I should see the card like so. If this is not defined, then in that case, I should be seeing the login section okay so now i have this i will make an else statement over here and this should show login to me now for login i'll just use ng template and i'll name this as login and then i'm simply cut this from here and paste it over here like so. 
let's just quickly indent this a bit properly perfect all right so let me just save this and let's save this one as well and let's go back to the application to see uh, what's going on here so now the user has logged in so that's why we are seeing this card uh, let's quickly implement the details for that particular user in this card so as you can see uh, the details we would be getting for this user in this object are the display name so we will use this as the title of the card so the card title would be user dot display name and then we have this which is the subtitle here we can use uh, something like say their email and then we have uh, a link here so instead of an href here we can simply bind this to the click event and then we can um, give the user a link to sign out or log out okay and for this we will be handling by creating a new method inside our class so log out and this calls af auth dot auth sign out method like so the sign out method uh, returns a promise of void and uh, we don't really have to do anything with that so that's just it we will be binding the click event of it to a method named logout like so let's see how this looks like in code so i now have uh, these things here uh, let me just log out and log in with uh, a particular provider wherein i'll get all those details so i'll log in with github via redirect and let's see what the template looks like once i'm logged in so it's taking a bit time but once i'm logged in then it's going to show me the details like so now i can also use my um photo url in the source so i can bind to the source property of it and use my photo url so user dot photo url and save that and now this is going to get displayed something like this okay so this is how you can uh, along the lines of just an email address you can also display other details uh, right below this like uh, so so you can simply add uh, multiple paragraphs to this particular card and then uh, those will get displayed as well on the template and if i log in again if i log out again then i'm going to see this page like so okay so uh, this was it regarding the anonymous sign in method in the next video we'll be talking about implementing email and password sign up 